The old adage has always been that Australia rides on the sheep's back. However, with Australia currently the world's third largest wheat exporter and our cropping industry worth over $25 billion a year, it is likely wheat and not wool will be the driving force in the agricultural sector moving forward. Grain trader Stuart Timms from CBH Group explains why wheat is so important to Australia. Wheat is extremely important to the agricultural sector in Australia. Um, it's our major uh, crop in Australia. Uh, we grow about 26 million tonne a year. Uh, it supports so many rural farming communities and families that are actually living on the land. Uh, the secondary markets that apply to wheat as well. You've got wheat breeding plants trying to develop new varieties um, to best fit within the Australian sector. You've got agricultural machinery sales. You've got rural communities based on the background of wheat. So it's extremely important to the Australian um, agricultural sector. Last year, Australia produced about $7 billion worth of wheat. Most of it was exported to Asia, Africa and the Middle East. Given the world reach of our wheat, the price received by our farmers is determined by the global price, which fluctuates as a result of the global supply and demand of grain. A good harvest in Europe, Russia and America has increased the world supply of wheat and has forced prices down for Australian farmers. This futures graph shows the world price dropping over the past year. Last year, uh, we've seen a futures price of around 900 cents per bushel, which converts roughly to around $300 Australian a tonne. Um, and currently, we're seeing um, the price, so the best part of one year, we're seeing the price down at about 650 cents per bushel, which works out to be about $260 a tonne. So over the year, we've seen approximately a $40 decrease. This $40 drop in the global price of wheat will cut more than a billion dollars from the industry in Australia. One farmer set to be affected by this price drop is James Meek. James and his family run a farm in Shelford, southern Victoria, and it is wheat which makes up the largest proportion of their cropping business. Wheat, like all crops, is, is very important. It uh, you know, makes up you know, a fairly large percentage of, of the crop we put in. Despite favourable conditions here in southern Victoria, the Meeks wheat crop alone will be worth about $20,000 less than it was last year. And with prices predicted to fall even further, these farmers are finding the value of wheat a little hard to stomach. James is frustrated that his family will see profits diminish with lower prices and rising input costs. Just don't come down um, your inputs. They're still as high as they are whether you're getting $400 a tonne or $180 a tonne. There has, however, been some relief for farmers and exporters with the Australian dollar depreciating from its January high of $1.06 to currently about 93 US cents. That said, farmers are constantly fighting forces beyond their control and the short term road ahead looks pretty bumpy. What makes farming that, that sort of, that heartbreaking sort of thing is that you can do everything right and the weather can beat you. Or you can do everything right and then world prices can beat you. you know, now it looks like we're going to have quite a good season and, uh, and, and we're going to get the grain but once we get it, it's, uh, you know, we're going to take a hit on perhaps what, uh, you know, it should be worth in the years to come. Alex Boyle reporting for The Burn TV.